John, thanks so much for, uh, for joining us and chatting this morning. So we want to know what is the most question you get asked? It's very simple. We get asked what the forecast is. Now that does come at sometimes at an inconvenient time when we're at the grocery store or worshiping at our local house of worship. Uh, we're always on guard for the weather. I think one of the most interesting ones is when we put that post out there on Facebook and folks want to know what it's going to be in their backyard. You know, our web page, your web page, we've got that area where you can put in your zip code and get a really detailed forecast. The tools are right there, but a lot of times people want that personal touch. They do. And do they ask you what's the forecast really going to be? Like you didn't give them all the information right. online? Well, and a lot of times we'll say, well, what about the forecast that this broadcaster gave or the other one gave? And we're like, well, you could ask them, but our <laughs> forecast is, is this. All right. So a question I get a lot, or just a comment more than a question, and I'm sure you have as well, when people say, what's it like to be wrong half the time and still get paid? But do you get that a lot? We yeah, we just don't hear that at all, do we? <laughs> now, you know, I just want to point out that the MVP for the National League and the American League in baseball last year averaged 300. So they were wrong seven-tenths of the time. They make millions. So we're wanting some of that action. Excellent. I'm, I am going to definitely steal that one and use it the next time. All right, what about the forecast of what's the winter going to be like? And they ask you that, you know, last summer. They, everyone wants to know the long-range forecast. What's the weather going to be like for my wedding, you know, two years from now? Oh, it, it's really amazing. Folks really, you know, weather is a, such a vibrant part of our lives. We focus on being a weather ready nation. We want to be ready for that wedding in June, uh, the family reunion in the summer. We have to rely on climatology at that point. So in Alabama, we say there's probably about a 20% chance of showers, temperatures in the 90s, and we're going to be pretty close to being right on that. It's true. Climatology, you know, works out actually as a long range forecast. It's a pretty good That's tool. Right. Um, what about some of those weather folklores like the caterpillars and the persimmons having more seeds uh, for a colder winter? I mean, do, do any of those ever ring true and do people ask you about them? Well, you know, I think where those folklore came in is that they were right at least one or, one or two times in someone's life. And so they've come to rely on those. Of course, we kind of, uh, we kind of listen to those. We enjoy hearing those stories. But when it comes down to the forecast, we're going to rely on that data that we're getting, like from that Gozar that we've got up in space now and all that technology that we've got. We're going to rely on that versus the folklore.